Hi, this is JB from Northern Lights Over Arkham. This time we are continuing Finn Edward's journey through the Dream Quest and we are up to the Dark Side of the Moon scenario. So last time in the Search for Kadat scenario, I did a little mistake at the end of the uh, scenario and counted 10 experience from the locations, but I forgot that when I'm resigning I will drop all of my clues, so we only got 9 experience because of that, uh, because the location we resigned from had a victory point, so we didn't get that location, unfortunately. What I could have done is that I could have advanced to the next act and resign on the next turn, but I won't take any backseas now, so we still got 9 experience, so uh, let's look at what upgrades we did to the deck. So uh, there are not that many changes into the deck. The deck functions really good uh, based on the two previous scenarios. Uh, I added one Charisma, so now I can have uh, two allies in play at the same time and because of that I also added two copies of Lola Santiago into the deck. So that is a total of nine experience. and. Um, to make room for the Lola, I decided to remove the two what's this uh, skill cards. I played those cards multiple times in the past two scenarios, but I really felt like that isn't that in <laughs> um, necessary in this uh, deck because we have so, so much other um, resource generation. So the what's this, I, I never committed any resources on that because they were clutch tests and I weren't able to uh, succeed by uh, to, uh, enough to get the um, doubling of the resources to fire off so uh, that is the reason I chose that change into the deck. Other than that the deck remains the same and uh, let's get back to the scenario. So we are playing the dark side of the moon. Uh, we start at the moon forest, which is a four shard location with one clue. And because we are using uh, doom tokens as alert tokens in this scenario, I opted to use these uh, mythos busters uh, clue and doom tokens because these are <laughs> really funny looking, and I'm using them here as uh, alert tokens so you can see the alert level from those tokens uh, we need to uh, grab three clues to advance and we need to find a way uh, first we need to find virtual gray that was captured in the last scenario uh, resolution and uh, uh, randolph wasn't captured so randolph is still in our deck and uh, hopefully we can utilize Randolph's ability to draw a lot of cards. At least in the last game it was really powerful to cycle our deck. So other than that, uh, we are ready to begin, so let's get started. I have pre-shuffled the decks, so let's draw our opening hand. So we are looking again uh, to find the with the log picks and maybe an ally to play right at the start so we can start getting clues and of course <laughs> we want the lone wolf so we'll keep one lone wolf mm, I think the rest of these are not that important right away we want to find some assets to play right away so we'll mulligan those so we draw four more cards uh, we reshuffle the weakness Okay, well, at least we got the Magnifying Glass and Randall Carter, so at least that's something. So we have to uh, be happy with that. Not the best opening hand by any means, but we'll have to do with that. In the previous two games we picked lock picks right at the opening hand, so uh, that gave us a really strong start so I think this won't be that easy of a game the scenario in itself is really 
stuff on True Solo, so let's see how Finn does. So just a quick shuffle here and we are ready. So uh, first action, I'll just play the Lone Wolf. Second action, we'll play Randolph. And I'll play the magnifying glass as our fast action. Then we still have uh, two cars, but I think. Uh, let's see. So, Moon Forest. Uh, test Agility 5 to hide among the strange trees. If you succeed, reduce your alarm level by 1. Limit 1 success per game. Uh, fast action. Uh, Fast triggered action during your turn, except during another action. Evade. If you fail, raise your alarm level by one. Limit once per round. Okay, uh, so the shroud here is four, and we have an uh, intellect of four at the moment. Uh, intellect of five. So we could actually try to investigate here. And uh, I think I will commit the. Uh, Easy mark, so we are two up. So uh, six versus four should be good odds. Uh, let's just check. So all of the special tokens are um, at the moment minus ones, and uh, the cultists is a reveal another token. So uh, we should be have a good uh, chance to up to succeed in this test, and it's a skull. And skull is x, x is half of your alarm lever rounded up, so it's 1, so minus 1. Uh, we succeed, uh, we get this clue. And that is our whole turn. No enemies, uh, we ready up, we draw a card, we get nimble, and we gain one resource. So that was a quick first turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a doom to the agenda. The agenda's threshold is 5. The first encounter card is uh, Law of Ugerot, Chaos, Terror, Peril Hidden, uh, Revelation, secretly add this card to your hand. You cannot play cards or trigger abilities on player cards with an odd printed resource cost, so uh, we can't trigger Randolph at the moment. So action, discard a player card with an even printed resource cost from your hand, discard, discard from your hand. I think we are discarding Nimble because it's, uh, it has a zero cost because it's a skill card. So just to get rid of that because we want to be able to trigger Randall if needed. Also we want to use the Streetwise if able. So we start our turn. Uh, we get one uh, resource from Lone Wolf. First action we'll just get rid of this. Discarding Nimble. Second action, we'll move to the. Uh, I think we'll go to the dark crater. So, it's a two shot location with one clue. Action test intellect 5 to hide within the crater. If you succeed, reduce your alarm level by 1. Limit 1 success per game. Pause at the end of your turn if you are at the dark crater and have discovered one or more of its clues this turn. Test uh, intellect 3. If you fail, raise your alarm level by 1. So I think um, just keep moving. We won't uh, stay here yet, so uh, we don't want to raise the alarm level. Or we, we have an intellect of 4, so I think we won't be testing the dropping of the alarm level. We'll continue to the City of the Moon Beasts. And uh, City of the Moon Beasts is a uh, shroud of X and one clue. X is the highest alarm level amongst all investigators. Of course, at the end of the round, each investigator at the City of the Moon Beasts test agility 2. Each investigator who fails must raise their alarm level 1. So at least we have. Uh, um, High agility for this test, so we are testing uh, because we have Randolph 5 versus 2. So that is the end of the turn, and uh, we test at the end of the round, so we do the upkeep first. No enemies, we go to upkeep, we ready, 
draw a card, we find things, trust the 38, uh, 38, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn, and now we test the. Uh, at the end of the round, we test the agility test, so we are up by three. It's a minus one, so we are okay. We don't have to raise the alarm level. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another doom. And counter card for this turn is... <laughs> it's the Love of Jungeroth Pandemonium. Peril Hidden Revelation. Secretly at this card to your hand. You cannot play cards or commit cards to skill test with an odd number of words in the, their title. Discard a player card with an even number of words in its title from your hand. Discard this card from your hand. So, unfortunately, Finn's trusty 38 is 3, so it's not even. And, well, Intel Report is even, so we could uh, discard Intel Report. So you can play cards or commit cards with an odd number. Mm, okay. So we could still play the inter report. So first um, we get one uh, resource from Lone Wolf. I think first action uh, we'll just play the inter report, and we'll spend uh, two extra resources so we can discover clue from another location nearby. So we'll get this clue. Second action we'll just investigate here. I am investigating uh, 5 versus 1. It's a plus 1, so we'll grab this clue also. And last action, we'll move out of here so we don't have to test for the alarm level. So we enter the Temple of the Moon Lizard. Uh, Temple of the Moon Lizard is a 3 uh, star location with one clue. Test willpower 5 to hide inside the Forbidden Temple. If you succeed, reduce your alarm level by 1. Limit 1 success per game. Pause. After you discover any number of clues at the Temple of the Moon Wizard, you must either take that Mator or discard as many cards from your hand. There is one clue here. Okay. So that is our whole turn. Mm, no enemies. We go to upkeep. In the upkeep phase we draw a card, we find lockpicks, and we gain one resource. And at this point, let's see. So next turn we can go. Uh, I was thinking of advancing, but we can only advance in the city of the moon east. So next turn we'll head back there and advance and continue from there. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom. Encounter card is... It is the Corsair of Leng. Spawn. Nearest city or surface location. Uh, this is the nearest city or surface location, so it spawns on us. And... Uh, I think we want to evade this guy. So... We start our turn. We get our resource. Uh, we use the Finn's free action to evade. We are evading 5 versus 5 at the moment. I will spend 2 resources uh, from Streetwise to up, be up by 3. So, actually, uh, let's not spend the resources. I'll. Uh, yeah, I, I think I can't commit cars. Yeah. Let's just. I was thinking of using the. Uh, Finn's trusty 38, but we can't commit that because of this other hidden treachery. So we'll just spend the resources. Uh, we are evading uh, 8 versus 5. And it's a minus 1. This guy is evaded. Uh, second action. We'll Try to investigate here. Uh, we are investigating 5 versus 3, so we are 2 up. Another minus 1, 
we'll grab this clue. Second action, we'll move to the city of the moon beast, and at this point we will advance, so we'll spend three of our clues. Only investigators at the city of the moon beast may spend the requisite numbers to lose as a group to advance, so timely rescue. Choose an investigator at the city of the moon beast to take control of the set side virtual prey, truly inspired story asset. Uh, check campaign log if Randolph was captured. That card owner puts the set aside Randolph card third expert dreamer story. But okay, so we got Virgil. Just place Virgil over here. Then uh, we have. Uh, okay, these acts are not in the correct order. Yeah, that was number one. Act two: Exploring the moon. Objective: Only investigators at the Temple of the Moon Lizard may spend the required number of clues as a group to advance, so we, uh, we have to head back there, and I think because we have the clue, we can now spend it, but I'll do that at the end of the round. Just checking. It doesn't say we have to do it at the end of the round, so I'll do it after the Enemy phase. So, uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Uh, upkeep will. Uh, yeah, we'll advance before the upkeep, so. Uh, we spend one clue. Through the center. So, put the set aside caverns beneath the moon and the Black core locations into play. Spawn the set aside moon lizard at the black core exhausted. Shuffle the encounter. Discard pile into the encounter deck. So uh, we actually uh, did a mistake. We should have uh, done that at the start of our next turn because now the moon lizard is ready. Which I forgot. So that is a huge mistake on my part. I won't go back seas because uh, that won't be that fair. So I'll do the mid-game setup uh, between turns and we'll just end our turn by drawing a card. This readies, engages us again, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. I'll do the setup and we'll continue to the next turn. Okay, so we are ready to continue. Uh, I forgot to mention that uh, Virtual Grace uh, triggered abilities after you Alarm level is raised. Either, uh, either draw a card, gain one resource, or heal one horror from virtual grave. There is more than one in uh, investigator in the game. Give control of virtual grave to another investigator. And if it's defeated, remove it from the game. So we got these new locations here. They are connected to the dark crater and the moon forest. Uh, we got the cavern beneath the moon and the black core, and you can't move into the black core before all the clues from the cavern beneath the moon have been discovered. And the moon lizard starts in the black core, and uh, as we um, put it into play in the, at the end of the enemy phase, it unfortunately ready, so we have to deal with that. Uh, and yeah, uh, here I took one horror, I, I forgot to add it, because, well, um, we'll just discard a card. Yeah, so uh, it's either take a horror or discard a card from your hand. Um, for each clue discovered, so uh, we'll uh, discard the Finn's Trusty 38 because that at least was in our hand. Unfortunately, again, we only have cards that have a uh, odd number of. Uh, words in the title, so this uh, this is getting a bit no annoying, and we don't have an even numbered card in hand, so we can get rid of that. Uh, yeah, so let's start our turn. Uh, the mythos phase starts via the Doom, we are 4 of 5, encounter card is uh, Ancient Evils, which will advance it. Uh, that's annoying. So uh, we will advance. So, get uh, uh, throw away the key. 
Shuffle the encounter, discard pile into the encounter deck, raise the in each investigator's alarm level by one. And now we have another five threshold, the alarm is raised, and that is all that happens. So we'll add an alarm level here. And that was the mythos phase. We'll start the investigation phase. So we get a resource from Lone Wolf. And uh, we are uh, engaged with the Corsair of Leng. Again, we can't play anything, so I'm just uh, using the free action to evade. And uh, we are 8 versus. Or, uh, yeah, 8 versus 5 again. It's another minus one, so this guy is evaded. Leave it here. First action will move to the moon forest. And uh, I think we could try uh, with an uh, agility of five to lower the alarm level. We don't want to head here because this guy moves there. So we'll probably head there next turn. So let's just do a couple of tests to try to lower the uh, alarm level. So 5 versus 5, we're looking for zeros or plus 1 or the Elder sign. <laughs> we hit the plus 1, <clears throat> so we got rid of one of the alarm levels. I'll just try it. Uh, yeah, that's actually only once per game, so we can't do it a second time. And uh, yeah, uh, because we are uh, the alarm level raised, so we drew actually one card from that, and that's got handed. So that actually uh, happened uh, when we were still engaged with this guy. So it reads: Ready each enemy at your location or a connecting location. Each hunter enemy at the connecting location moves one location for the war two. If no enemies move as a result of this effect, shuffle got handed back into your deck. So. Uh, at the moment, we put that card uh, with uh, Virtual Grace ability. We were engaged with that uh, Corsair of Leng, so it just gets shuffled back into our deck. So, just do a quick shuffle. Lucky we didn't draw any more cards. So, um, yeah. Um, Yeah, now we draw a card for Ilsis uh, as our last action. And we hit Lola Santiago, so another ally. But we, we are <laughs> In this game we are really uh, low on resources because we haven't have to use the streetwise to evade this guy all the time. So hopefully we can start accumulating some resources and play Lola. But that is our uh, investigation phase. Uh, we'll go to the enemy phase. This guy hunts here, and uh, let's look at the Moon Lizard for a bit. So Moon Lizard is a, a X4X monster elite hunter. Moon Lizard can only enter cave locations. While Moon Lizard is engaged with an investigator, X is that investigator's alarm level, otherwise it X is 5. So, um, it is a uh, 5 when it's not engaged, but when we engage it, uh, it is one, so pretty easy to uh, evade. So I think we are just evading this guy and trying to work around it. We'll go to upkeep, this guy readies. Uh, we'll draw a card, obfuscation, we gain one resource, and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Yeah, to do and count the card. Oh yeah, uh, I think we forgot to shuffle the. Yeah, we we should have shuffled the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. So we'll do it before we draw the card. So that is enough shuffling. Let's see what we get. So uh, encounter card for this turn is starting up this. So, uh, <laughs> the Crawling Mist, uh, something I didn't want to see, so uh, 3, five, uh, 5 health and 3 evade, 
Monster, Avatar, Prey, most cars in hand, Hunter, Massive, increase the difficulty of you for you to attack or attempt to evade the crawling mist by one for each card in your hand with the counter card back. Uh, so it's actually 4 fight and 4 evade, but um, I think again <laughs> we have to get be, be sure to be able to evade, so I am using them. Resources to boost the streetwise, and I'll use the pins free action bait. We are really <laughs> bogging down with these enemies, which is so annoying. So, this is massive, so it's just over here on this location. I think the crawling mist will be a real bother in this scenario. Okay, so I am uh, evading uh, 8 versus. Four, so I'm four up. <laughs> Minus four, we just barely succeed. And uh, this guy's evaded. First action will move into the cavern beneath the moon. It's a six rush location. After you fail a skill test while investigating caverns beneath the moon, until the end of the turn, reduce the shroud by two. Okay. This guy engages us. And uh, we will evade. So I'm invading uh, 5 versus 1. So again, we are 4 up. And uh, we fail. So uh, let's see. After you fail a skill test, well, so the shroud would drop, but it doesn't affect us because. We have to try to evade again. So I'm evading again so we don't take the attacks. Because this guy hits hard. And uh, again, 5 versus 1. It's a skull, which is a minus 1, so this guy is evaded. At least for this turn. Mm, that is our whole turn. No enemy actions because of upkeep. This guy readies, this guy readies, engages us again. And we draw a card, uh, we find insert report, and we gain one resource. So that is actually really good because now we can get this clue with the insert report to get out of this location. And well, we'll see how the next turn starts after the new space. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom, encounter card is. Please don't be an enemy. <laughs> oh, damn. So, love of you, Girat. Uh, revelation. Secretly add this card to your hand. You cannot commit cards to skill test with an odd number of, to of the total skill icons on them. Discard player cards with an even number of total skill icons on your hand. Discard this card from your hand. So, these are actually starting to annoy me a lot. Can't use our hand, hand cards at all at the moment. So that is only to commit, so it won't affect our play here. Uh, I will start the investigator turn, so we get one here. No, uh, no, the resource here. Uh, free action to evade. We are evading four, uh, five versus one. It's a skull. This guy is evaded. I have so preferred to get um, Elder Sign there to grab the school, but it is what it is, and uh, I'll just uh, spend two to play Inter Report. So just double checking so we can't play Comic Cars uh, to skill this with the yeah, skill icons, and you pl cannot play and Comic Cars with test with the board number. So that had two words in it, so we could. Play the inter report to grab this clue. Now we are free to move here. Second action, uh, we'll move here. The black core. So let's see. Uh, if each surviving investigator is at the black core and it has no clues on it, 
advance, so we need to grab the clues here to advance. So black core is X and has a one, has one clue. X is the number of depth tokens on the black core. Because after the black core is built, place three resources on it at depth tokens plus an additional three uh, depth tokens per player, so six. And uh, just thinking. I'll use actually these floor tokens as the death tokens. Okay, so it has a shroud of six. Test uh, intellect two or uh, willpower two or uh, combat two to swim to the dark lake at the moon's core. Uh, for each point you succeed by removing one death token from the black core. So. There is one clue here. I'll just put the uh, uh, depth tokens on top of it. Okay, so we have one action remaining. So just double checking. So we can't commit cars with an odd number of skill icons on them. So I think uh, we are running out of time and we don't have time to play Lola. So I'm committing Lola to this investigation check. The other cards we can't commit. And Lola has two words, so that we can still commit that card. And uh, we are investigating for our last action here. And our investigation is five, six, seven versus six. So we need to get a bit lucky here because we would want to be a two up. But uh, we'll see. So hopefully we hit a minus one or something like that. And it's a tablet. It's a minus one. If you fail, raise your alarm level by one. So we succeed. We also get to trigger Randall Carter. So we draw two cards. We get Nimble and we find the old Eula. Again, cards that <laughs> we can't use because they are have odd number of words and odd number of symbols. But still, we grab this clue and we can advance so if each surviving investigator is at the black core and it has no clues on it advance to the other side put the set aside caverns beneath the moon light side light side of the moon and the white ship locations in the play so again uh, i'll do that during the next turn but uh, because we are out of action so we can't even move there so We'll go to the enemy phase. The crawling mist hunts here. Uh, this guy doesn't do anything. We go to upkeep. It readies. We ready. We draw a card. We get lone wolf. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in hand. And now we have lone wolf, which is really good because now we can uh, discard that next turn to get rid of the other one that prevents us from playing these really good cards so that is really good uh, these have well uh, let's just keep them in play if they still have some function and we gain one resource and I think that is that turn I'll do the mid game setup between the turns again so let's move on to the next turn okay we are ready to continue and um, just quickly Let's look at the setups changes. So I shoveled all of this <laughs> map to the left, so I have room here. So we put the cavern beneath the moon, the light side, the light side of the moon, and the white ship into play. Uh, we can straight away move into the light side cavern beneath the moon, but we can't move to the light side of the moon before uh, all clues from the light side uh, caverns beneath the moon have been discovered. Then there is the white ship. And at the moment we only have uh, one alarm token, so uh, if we have uh, alarm level is 5 or higher, we can't move into the white ship. So at the moment we can get there, so this is able to as a connection. And uh, I think that is it, so we can continue. So uh, we'll go to the middle space, we add a doom. Encounter card for this turn is a close watch 
a revelation test uh, agility 4 if you fail you must either discard an asset you control with the highest printed cost or ratio alarm level by one the highest asset we control is uh, Randall Carter um, is a pickle. We can't boost uh, with streetwise yet because the lone wolf will get give us the resource at the start of the, our turn. Mm. I think at this moment uh, we can lose Randolph. Randolph doesn't boost our investigative power at, at all at the moment so if we fail we just discard Randolph. Uh, we can't commit anything because everything we have is uh, one skill icon and that one uh, part prevents us from that, so let's see. It's a skull and luckily it's a minus one, so we are agility five, minus one is four, it's enough, so we don't have to discard any assets we control. That is that, so we'll go to the investigation phase, we'll grab one clue, we'll move here as our first action and Caverns beneath the moon light side is a six route location with one clue forced after you fail a skill test while investigating caverns beneath the moon until the end of the turn remove this route by two. Second action I think we are discarding Lone Wolf to get rid of the I think we get rid of this that prevents us from playing cards with an odd number, so we discard that. And last action. I think we'll try to... Uh, we'll just try to investigate. We don't have the resources to play lockpicks yet, we can play it next turn and then ace the invest investigation to move further, so I think we're fine. So last action will just... oh, nearly drop my back there. Um, last action we'll just uh, investigate and we are investigating... Uh, five versus six. Uh, actually, uh, let's... Just to speed this up, I think we won't even play the lockpicks. Uh, yeah, let's let's back up. Let's back up. The second action is to let's forget playing anything else. Mm, instead of um, well, we yeah, it doesn't help. We, we can't use this. Okay, uh, we'll just make this much easier for us next turn, so... Yeah, we can't get rid of that, so we'll just try to investigate. Uh, And I'll use this too. So um, we are investigating uh, 8 versus 6. So minus 2 or better is uh, what we're looking for. And it's a minus 1. We'll grab this clue. So this pathway opens. And next turn we can uh, try to get out of this place. Hopefully. Uh, that is our uh, turn. We go to the enemy phase. Both of these guys hunt here. Corsair is just happy there, alone in the Temple of the Moon Lizards. Uh, we ready up, we draw a card, and we get breaking and entering. Uh, which we can actually play, so that is really good. We get a resource, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, uh, we add a two. Four of five, so... We still have another act behind this one, so we are fine. 
time. Uh, encounter card for this turn is an enemy ancient evils again. Repeat of the last uh, agenda advancement. So he advanced the agenda one turn early. Let's see. Mm. Run, rapid run. So if the investigators force their way into the temple, read the following. So. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Shuffle the encounter, discard pile into the encounter deck. Raise each investigator's alarm level by one. So we are back to two. These get shuffled back in. Then uh, we continue. So uh, we didn't force our way into the temple, so we don't have to draw the cats of Saturn, which is really good because those. <laughs> that enemy is so annoying. We have a good evade, so we could have evaded the cats, but uh, the Ultar cats arrive in the nick of time to chase off the cats of Saturn. So otherwise we just uh, get fluff this text and don't, don't draw anything bad. So, uh, we've done the shuffling raised alarm level and nothing else happens and now we have a, a, a agenda threshold of four hint the game will not end when this agenda advances but the agents of your love for them will tighten their noose so we need to start hurrying to the white ship to get out of this uh, moon so objective find a way to the moon of, of the moon you will be instructed when you advance so the Spoilers, it is the white ship, so we need to get there. So, uh, we still haven't thrown our encounter card. And this uh, close watch again. Test agility for if you fail, you must either discard the asset to control with the highest or raise our alarm level. Again, uh, our alarm level raised, so uh, virtual will draw us a card. We'll actually grab a resource. Yeah, we, we don't want any more cards at the moment. And... Uh, I think I'm just testing this. It's a minus two, so we lose Randolph Carter. We won't raise the alarm level. I think we are fine without Randolph at the moment. Our first action is to move to the light side of the moon. It's a 5 star location with one blue test intellect 1 or agility 1 to attempt to hide amongst the ruins. For every 3 points you succeed by reducing your alarm level by 1. And there is one clue here and 2 victory points. So we really want to grab this before we continue into the white ship. So second action, uh, yeah, we got uh, one resource from the Lone Wolf. I will play uh, Breaking and Entering. So this only prevents us from committing cards or skill tests, so it doesn't prevent us from playing anything. Uh, we are playing that, so we are adding our agility to the test. So four, so we are nine versus five. It should be enough. It's a minus two because the alarm level is two. So we grab this clue successfully. Last action. Um, there is nothing preventing us from moving to the white ship, so we'll move there. It's a one shot location. Uh, after the white ship is revealed, put the set aside captain and story asset play into the at the white ship. So we add the captain here. And Gandalf, I mean the captain, uh, the Dreamlands navigator, is uh, has an action. Uh, if each undefeated investigator is at the white ship, call a test willpower X or intellect X to convince the captain to sail. To set sail, X is the highest alarm level amongst the investigators. If you succeed, advance the act. Any investigator at the white ship may uh, activate this ability. So next turn we will try to get out of this moon 
and the alarm level is only two and we will have resources for the street wise so I think we are set uh, enemy face will hunt here and here nothing else happens upkeep we draw a card uh, 25 automatic and we can one with so that is that turn and let's see if we can get out of this mode during the next turn we add a doom encounter card is Love of Ugirot Chaos. So we cannot play cards or trigger abilities on player cards with a quad printed resource cost. So this is a zero because it's permanent, so we can ignore this. But we don't get the lone wolf money. Yeah, because it has an odd printed resource cost. So unfortunately we don't get the lone wolf. Um Pretty sure we're fine because we have two cool, uh, two resources here. So uh, first action, uh, we will use two resources to boost our intellect by three. Uh, let's see if we have any double resources. We can. Uh, we are testing intellect uh, seven versus. To spear five up to convince the captain to set sail. It's a minus four, so that is enough. We are out of this moon, so we can advance. The captain uh, fluff text, and we get resolution one. That is uh, the dark side of the moon with Finn Edwards. Let's see what. Uh, we got in the victory point department, so we have this, 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 and these locations. So four, five, six. We didn't defeat any victory point monsters. Uh, we'll check the resolution. So resolution one. Uh, in your camp log record, the investigators traveled to the cold wastes. In your camp log record, Randolph survived the voyage. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value on each card in the victory play. Record three tally marks next to evidence of card in your camp by lock. So now there is uh, 11. So that is really good. And we continue to the scenario 4 where the words well. And that is this scenario. So, uh, this scenario can be really hard if you can't handle the enemies or you get bogged down with enemies. Luckily, we got enemies only uh, occasionally, so we were able to handle them with uh, Finn's really good evade uh, ability. Streetwise uh, level 3 came into really good use in this scenario because we were constantly unable to play or commit cars to skill test with because of those cards, so that uh, being said, uh, the ability to boost two of your primary stats is really powerful. Thing. Even as I'm playing Taboo, I think Streetwise uh, with six experience is worth it in this uh, deck for sure. And uh, yeah, uh, that was the dark side of the moon. Uh, next up, we will end the campaign in the Where God's Well scenario, which is notoriously hard in true solo. Uh, we'll see if we can um, win the campaign, but um, that might be quite hard. It's really luck dependent at the end of this uh, scenario, but we have done really well in this campaign, so I'm, I have some hopes of defeating it. But Again, thanks for watching this playthrough and until next time.